concentric circles and the repetition of line can be found lots of different places in nature. These are just a few examples of lines and shapes that are naturally occurring in our world. Organic shapes are shapes that are usually found in nature and are more natural, unlike man-made shapes like squares or rectangles that have perfectly straight lines. For this project, we are going to create organic shapes across our entire page. You decide which way you want your page to go and then choose a paint stick. I am going to start with pink and I'm going to create a rounded organic shape in the corner of my paper. Remember, organic shapes are more natural and flowing, unlike something like a triangle or a rectangle that has perfectly straight lines. Please remember to put the cap back on your paint stick. If you notice that your paint stick is dirty, you can wipe it on your placemat. I am going to continue with my organic shapes across my entire paper. Notice that my shapes are touching and I am trying to cover up any white spots that I have. Here I notice I have a few little chunks of paint that I'm just going to smooth out with my finger and then wipe my finger on my placemat to clean it off. This will make sure that my spots are even and my paint will dry quickly. Now that my organic shapes are complete, I'm going to let my paper dry. Here is my paper with my organic shapes that are all dry and ready for the next layer. We will be using Posca paint markers for our next step. If the end of your marker is still white, it's because it hasn't been activated yet. Press it gently down onto your placemat until you see the paint come through. Then you are ready to use the marker. I am going to start on the outside of one of my organic shapes and I am going to follow that shape around until I get back to where I started. I am taking my time and going slowly so that I do not smudge the paint that is coming out of the marker. Now I'm going to play follow the leader and I am going to make another line that follows the first. This really reminds me of those organic shapes that we saw in nature. If you run out of space for your marker, simply make a thinner line or skip going into that section and just make a smaller shape. I am going to make sure the cover is on my marker and I'm going to repeat this step with different colors. The great thing about these Posca markers is that they make really nice layers on top of the paint that we already used. Again, I am playing follow the leader with that paint marker. I have sped up my video, but I really am taking my time and following that first line that I made. If you notice that your lines are getting a little bit farther apart or a little bit closer together, that's okay. The same thing happens in nature. Again, artists, make sure you are being respectful of our art supplies and putting the caps back on these markers. I am gonna go ahead and I am going to fill in the rest of my shapes with these organic flowing lines.
here, I noticed that my yellow is a little bit harder to see on that light green. So I'm just going to go back and make one more layer over the top of the lines that I already made so that that yellow stands out a little bit more. Here is my completed organic line drawing. I hope you have fun with yours artists and be creative.